Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to some more ARC news and we have quite the news this week. So Zyphactinus uh, is the second ARC additions from what we learned last week. We had Ceratosaurus and now we have uh, Zyphactinus uh, joining the team. But yeah, let's go into Crunch 409. Remember when we announced Ceratosaurus is being integrated into the core game? Get ready because Cyphactinus is next. Even though we may make a few changes to the design of the creatures from Arc Editions, these beasts are going to shake up the game in mid-May. Which of Garuga's creatures are you hoping to see interact? integrated excuse me so yeah zyphactinus dang that is freaky but i'm glad we have some new uh water creatures because yeah uh the ocean was getting kind of boring but now it's going to get more exciting um yeah it, it's really cool that they're seeing that we're going to see the arc additions uh, let's see here. We have, what's it saying down here? Be wary of the open ocean, for there lurk shoals of Zyphactinus, relentlessly aggressive fish with appetites bigger than their bodies. These voracious predators will blindly attack anything in sight, so you'll need to act fast to become their next meal. They tend to become even more ferocious in packs, so stay on your toes. Uh, and looking ahead, we're always eager to hear which creatures you're most excited for from the Arc Editions mod. You can stay directly connected to the latest updates and engage with the development process by joining Garuga's Discord server. And Garuga did list uh, other creatures coming or likely coming to... Um, the base game and I'm gonna put a list of those creatures up here somewhere uh, I'm just gonna put a text box list of all the creatures so you can go ahead and read them um, but this is gonna be kind of interesting now there are some suspicions I have of why they're doing this number one I'm assuming there's more delays number two they may be doing away with the creature votes, the community crunch votes. They may uh, be stopping with the extinction winner, which was, I believe, I can't remember what one extinction. I think it was a sauropod. I know it was a sauropod. I think it was Dreadnoughtus one extinction. So... Yeah, because we, yeah, we stopped with Extinction. We haven't done Genesis 1 or 2, and we haven't done Valgaro through Fjorder. Or Fjorder, so, yeah, I think this may possibly, I'm not 100% certain, but this could be a speculation that this is taking over the community votes for new creatures. Could possibly be doing that simply because, like, the votes... Who knows? The votes could be getting a bit overwhelming, and the team, you know, might not be able to put in the time and effort, and they could just be looking to get more stuff out really quickly, and they're taking a look at Garuga's Arc Editions, and they're like, well, hey, here's creatures already made. Here's the concept art. We know what they look like. Let's toss them in there. Maybe make a few changes, but let's toss them in there because we already know what they're like. So that is one suspicion. I've actually seen people in some comments of other ARC News videos saying that's a suspicion of theirs as well, that they're doing away with the community crunch. And or the community votes that's a suspicion and other suspicions are further delays and there are people who are not excited about this because like i've read some comments people are saying well if they incorporate these into the base game you know 
But what's going to happen to the ones we already have now? Is that going to nerf them? You know, so it's kind of a concern for some people. Um, but just personally, I have never played with Arc Editions before. So I have no idea what to expect from any of these creatures. Um, but yeah, according to Garuga, there's like 10 creatures, including Xyphactinus and Ceratosaurus. So that's going to be pretty interesting to see. Now, we also have uh, the weekly premium mod spotlights. Uh, download and play new custom content created by players, including new maps, creatures, items, and game modes through a dedicated new mod browser directly within the game. We know that. And this video is all about Enclave and Forglar. So, yeah, that that's pretty interesting. Uh, there's live ops updates. Uh, on April 8th, we deployed a new type of server that we refer to as Expire. These servers will be online until 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard on June 1st. We preemptively, we are preemptively using our allocation for the center to host some additional sessions that players can travel onto to farm, tame, and experience the Scorched Earth gameplay. The same transfer restrictions apply in that you are only able to download your character, but you can pre freely take anything off. This is to help reduce load off some of the other servers or provide players an option for those who just want to jump onto Scorcher temporarily. Please note these servers will no longer exist after this time on June 1st. So if you intend to use them, remember to transfer your items, creatures, characters off before that due date as not before that date as nothing will be say beyond that time period. So from the sounds of it, the center might still be on track for June 3rd after reading that, but hey, you know, you never know. Um, so we'll just have to see. Uh, there's a Switch sale going on through May 27th. And yeah, it's yeah, the Ark Ultimate Survivor Edition. Uh, the Genesis Part 2 will release on July 1st alongside the Rhino Natha. So yeah, Switch News, you got your bonus rates from the 10th through the 13th. And then of course our Community Corner. So, hey, Flinger made it into this week. Cool. Uh, hey, yay, he made a Wyvern. Uh, landing pad just like I did. I need to make mine a little bit bigger though. Um, dang, his poison wyvern is green. Man, I do. I am not having any luck with green poison wyverns. All mine are uh, uh, milky sand color, kind of a light pinkish. I don't mind, but man, I'd like to see a green wyvern. Uh, and then you have, of course, your fan art, which never gets old. Yeah. This fan art never gets old. And then your photo mode. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So uh, yeah, enjoy your weekend, Studio Wildcard. So yeah, that was a pretty big uh, unload, especially to learn um, about Xyphactinus in mid-May. So I'm assuming sometime next week, maybe the week after. Uh, but yeah, I think that's just about going to do it. So hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.